Hello, so nice to see you again. It's a beautiful day here. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got going on here is a pre-stretch canvas, 16 by 20. And what I'm going to do is something different today. What I did was I uh, got a piece of contact paper. I cut out an oval in the middle and kind of put it on the canvas here. Then what I did was I took a thin coat of liquid white and covered the inside of the oval. And we'll do the painting and as you'll see when I pull the contact paper off what we'll see and maybe we'll add some trees and some land here. Some trees on the outside of the oval and then I make it look 3D. So what I did so far was covered it with a thin coat of liquid white and any information and all the colors that we'll be using today will come across the screen somewhere right about here. So like I said, we already got started. I'm going to use a 2 inch brush and we're going to come in and we're going to do some sky. Some blue color, phthalo, phthalo blue, Prussian blue. the two inch brush load it up and we'll start out in the corners up here maybe a little bit darker darker blues darker than that there you go that's what I like Today I think I'm just going to put some snow camp mounds and some trees down here. Maybe some eagle, an eagle flying over or whatever. After we did that, we're going to take the blender brush. We're going to blend the sky in. Starting down into the liquid white and coming up into the color. And get some sky effect. Just here and there and there and here. Same thing on the other side. Just want to get some different distant sky going on. like that. Gonna load up some more blues, darker color, almost like a purple that we're going to be using on the mountain. The purple color is going to be like a lizard and crimson and a phthalo blue. Let me get some more dark color here. Darker in here. Come back in with the blender brush. And just get it happening. I think I might put some clouds in. It really doesn't matter much what's going on down here. All I'm worried about right now is the top part. to get uh, a couple pieces of little some tape to tape this up here we don't lose that edge okay now I'm going to come into that brush I had with the liquid white I'm going to have some titanium white I'm going to put some clouds in Load it up on that two inch brush on both sides. Maybe, maybe, maybe our clouds are right here. Just 
fill it in. Just tap it in, load it up, just like that. Big cloud, big cloud, just like that. It goes down to, who knows, a lot of color, a lot of paint. Maybe there's another one right there. Covers the whole thing. Maybe it goes all the way. Just like that. Take the blender brush. Knock off some of the excess. And we're going to come in here and just start blending this in. Just to get the look of clouds. Clouds that's happening in the sky. Wipe off some of the paint. Just get all kinds of little things happening in here. Just the way you think clouds would look. If you look at clouds, you see all kinds of things going on. There's all kinds of different shades and colors and whatever you think different gaps different things happening okay that's that now we're going to come in and we're going to start making some mountains the mountain color is Prussian blue phthalo blue lizard and crimson some black midnight black maybe a little bit of Van Dyke brown Get a roll of paint right across the edge right here. Like I said, we're just going to have some mountains in. Close one here. Evergreen trees coming up down here. So maybe our first mountain starts out back here. Just like that. don't really care much what's going on down here we want that sharp edge is what we're looking for Get another little roll of paint that sharp edge more paint Maybe there's a mountain back there. Now we're going to take a two inch brush. We're going to blend it out. Blend it down. Get the angles. Lay of the, lay of the mountain. kinds of things happening. We want it misty down at the base of the mountain because that's the way it looks in nature. You got that misty look, that foggy, it's more like a cloudy look. Now we're going to come into palette knife again and pick up some titanium white. A little roll of paint. We're going to start highlighting. Oh, let's see. Let's see our light source is coming from this angle here. Just going to tap it. And pull down. Just like that. Get some more paint. Just like that. Little roll of paint. Maybe something's 
happening right there. Right at the top of the mountain. Just here and there and put some angles in it. Give it some breaks. Some more paint. Maybe that mountain has really got some snow on it. Just like that. But I see something. I'm going to take the edge of the palette knife. It's got a little edge on there. You can use that too to highlight. Maybe there's some spots right here. bit of snow coming. Maybe just on that top there. Just like that. I'm going to take the titanium white and we're going to mix it with some of that color. Leave it marbly and get a shadow look. A little roll of paint. We're going to come in here and highlight here and there where we think there might be some highlights You can also pull down from the white that's already on here. And that can create and be some of your shadows. Just here and there and there and here, you got it all happening. Looks pretty rocky in there. What I'm going to do is I see something right down here, right down at the edge. Right here we can make it. A little darker. Maybe there's a cliff down here. Just like that. Whatever you see. Get that happening like that. I'm going to take the blender brush. We're going to tap down and get the misty look going that I was talking about earlier. Pay close attention to the mountain, the way it's laid. You want to go up and down the mountain the same way to get the misty look. But I also give the effect like there's little trees or whatever growing up. Growing up the side of the mountain. Just here and there. Give it that foggy, hazy look. Okay, what we got going on now is we're going to put another bigger mountain here. Add some trees in. <clears throat> we'll make it happen. Use that same dark color. Load it up on your palette knife. Let's say maybe there's another mountain right here. There is now. Whatever you think. Maybe it comes down like that. Maybe this one's going off, off the painting, out of the picture. Kind 
Got a little ledge there, a little cliff. Just get a color, put all this in. Because the mountain's going to come right down. Closer. like that. Just scraping it in. Okay, now we're going to take that brush to pull. Pull the mountain. Maybe the mountain is steep there, so it's coming down like steeper that distance in between there because that gives it layers and that's what you want layers it gives gives it depth in a picture in your painting okay we're going to get some white now titanium white liquid white just a little bit of liquid white going to come in and highlight some of this mountain Get a little roll of paint. Maybe right there. Maybe it comes right down like that. It's more of the same colors. A little roll of paint. Maybe there's Maybe it's breaking more there. Maybe maybe there's some coming just like that. That is really <laughs> that is really an ice slope there. Maybe there's some right there. I want to leave it break. Get all that stuff happening on there. That looks good. That's what you want. Maybe right up at the top. Just like that. Can I add some more color? Maybe there is a lip right there. down just like that. More color, more color, make it more snowy. More of a glacier. You want to get all those breaks in. You want to have those breaks all in there. Because that gives it all kinds of stuff that's happening. 
what I see is put some more more stuff happening back here. Like I said earlier, we could take the palette knife and pull. Pull where you might want some shading to be. Here and there. Unless you pull, the more it's going to look like there's a shadows. I see. this and more here. All the way down. That breaks that off. Nice. Get the blender brush. Tap it. Keep that mist. That line right there. You can still see the lay of the mountain, the angles, but you want that misty look. Diffuses the mountain, kind of blends everything in. Gives it that more natural, more nature look. like that. Runs right up there. And let's see what we got going on. Where to get some Evertree 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 green trees growing. Evergreen trees. You're using uh, liquid white, titanium white, and to thin it, I am using some liquid clear. To get some darker trees going. I'm using a dark color that we used on the mountains. And I'm blending it in with sap green. Sap green, phthalo green. Load it up just like that. Now maybe, maybe in our world there's going to be a tree right here. Just tapping it down. Then tapping up. Just going back and forth. It's good as you got that mist in between there too. Got that happening. 
load up some more color. Maybe we have another tall one right next to it. All the way down. Even the gaps in between. Who knows? Maybe that comes just down like that. It's a forest down here. It's underneath. Using some more liquid clear because I want to thin that out some more. Grab some more of that dark green, sap green. Load it up on the brush. Maybe over here there's some trees. There is now. Just tapping it and going back and forth. All the way down. You can make it as big as you want. If you keep going, all the way down like that, <laughs> all the way off, maybe there's another big one right behind it. Just tapping. Leave spaces in between too because that's the way it's going to look in nature. Trees ain't all perfect and have, uh, you know, all filled and branches everywhere. They're kind of hit and miss sometimes. Been through some hard winters, especially out there. <laughs> that looks like a cold place. Maybe, maybe I'll put a smaller one right here, going right down. Leaving that mist in there, in between. like that. This goes down the painting. Looks beautiful. That's what you got to be when you're painting too. You can't be too critical on yourself. Just sit back and look at it and really take it in. Take it in for what you're really doing, you know. I'm just loading up some more paint. Just tapping. It's going back and forth. Pushing up. Filling it in where I want it to be thicker. Just tap harder to kind of get all that to fill in nice. Loading up some more color, darker, darker even yet. Just like that. I'm gonna make these all kinds of different sizes because there's a forest here. This one's bigger. Even that gap on the top. You can just work your way down, back and forth. Just the way you think the trees might look in nature. big one over here. Making a forest. A lesson on how to make evergreen trees. <laughs> I hope you can see. I try to stay out of the way but
sometimes it's that angle that I can't help. like that that looks very very nice. I put a smaller one right here. Just we want a forest to be happening. All kinds of trees. Different sizes. They're coming in all over the place. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Put a big one right here. All the way down. And just tapping, leaving spaces in between. and pushing up load up some more paint because it's going to get darker down towards the base of the tree there might be little things living down there who knows you got this hill coming in and going into who knows <laughs> it could go into wherever whatever you think make a bigger one here right into the snow right into the mountain You can feel it when you're starting to run low, and you can see it. But a thin paint will stick to a thick paint every time. Just something to remember while you're painting, if you're running into any problems with it sticking. Just remember that. A lot of darker, darker green. Maybe put some blue in it. Get a blue hue to the tree. A blue evergreen tree. Blue spruce. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to put a small one in here. down. A little darker as you go down. Well, I think I'm going to put a tree back in here. Looks a little bit too open for me. And like I've always said, it's your world. Put trees, mountains, whatever you like, wherever you think. Just here and there, there and here. See, so putting that extra tray in there really, really did something to that. I think. Kind of filled it in good. Adding more color on the fan brush. I'm really loading it up. Putting another tree in here. I'm 
This one might be darker. Might be a little closer to you. And in nature, when it is closer, it will get darker. Some of those look like maybe they're further back. Maybe that's a trail that goes out to who knows where. I'm going to pull maybe one more tree in. And I might leave that opening. Just because I think it looks interesting. Gives it that look. Fill some of it in with this tree here. Some of the brush comes down in there. I'll leave that open just like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Looks like what I'm looking for. We're going to take the liner brush. I think I'm going to put a. I think I'm going to put a bird in. It can be whatever kind of bird you want. It'd be the illusion. It'd be an illusion of a bird. Just loading a fan brush, I mean a liner brush up on both sides with all different colors. Midnight black, white, get a black, gray hue to it, just like that. And I think we'll put one right in the middle here. Put a dot. And draw the wings. It's an eagle. And I say that because a lot of eagles will fly by themselves like that, but they won't really circle. You can make up a story. This eagle is coming back from maybe a fishing trip. It's going back into the mountain here where it's got a nest. And that's the way it's flying. I'm going to leave that just like that. Now I think it's time to... Take away, take away the plastic, but I'm just going to do some more, some more things happening here with the sky, just here and there. Okay, now I'm going to peel this away. We'll see what we got going. Now you get that. You got that look of you're looking through something. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some land right here. So I'm going to take some of that green color and a two inch brush Maybe some browns. Darker. Making it a darker color. Darker green. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap down right here. I'm going to put some evergreen trees right outside here. They come right down. Right off the canvas. Tapping it in. We're going to highlight it in a minute. What we want to 
do is get some stuff happening, some some land. Just like that. Now we're going to take the brush we have all the color the white on and we're going to get into some cadmium yellow and some liquid white. with that green color on there and this yellow it should pop it should give a real nice look just tap it just like that just like that add some more liquid white just tapping it Just on the corner, the top of the brush, leaving some gaps like that, leaving some openings. A little bit more lighter. A little bit lighter, just like that. Leave this darker here, closer. Because that's going to give you the look that you're looking for. And I'm going to leave that just like that. I'm coming back in with the fan brush with the greens. The darker greens. Going to the blue. The green. put some trees in. I'm going to put a couple trees in or maybe one tree in outside of the picture. So we're going to put it right here. Going right down. Right outside and it's going to come right in there. Got to do the same like we did. Just tapping. Here and there, leaving some space in between. All the way down. To give that look of an evergreen tree and how it would grow. Just like that. We're going to come right down, right down the hill, just like that, fill all that in. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to take a fan brush and I'm going to clean up this edge over here. Right where I did the landscaping. Got to have that come out. Kind of blend that in. Grab some liquid white. get that going. Blending all that in right there. Just here and there. Just like that. A little bit of green happening. A little bit of grassy, grassy areas 
going on there. We can tap some of that in. Fuse it or some, kind of blend it in. Get it going like a little grassy, grassy look down here. It's going to be darker because it's closer. It's not getting into the sun. We just want to give it that look of some stuffs happening. into the white Van Dyke Brown liquid clear I'm gonna make some some sticks and twigs A few sticks and twigs Coming right here. Just like that. Loading up one side of the brush. Good. Take your pellet knife and with the color that you got on there already and with the canvas being white you can just pull some things up here. Some branches and twigs and things happening that you really don't have to paint. easier to scrape it in. Well, I think it's going to be a finished painting. This is one that uh, I don't normally do like this. This is completely different. But I thought I would uh, try it. What I like to do is sign mine in the corner here. And, some people use their initials. I also put in the year that it was painted. Just so later on, if somebody asks you, you can tell them. And then for your own records and your own uh, improvements and see how you progressed. Well, this is a different scene. This could all, almost be whatever, you know, it could be partly snow with the way this looks, but it's one that I thought I would try with an oval and using uh, the contact paper. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you followed along, and I hope you come back and see me, and uh, have a nice day.